Okay, so this is coming at us from America. India should be placed on religious freedom blacklist, U.S. panel says. A United States government panel has suggested that India be put on a religious freedom blacklist due to the increasing assaults on religious minorities under Prime Minister Modi. The U.S. panel can make recommendations, but it's expected that the State Department will not heed the report as the United States and India have good relations and are increasingly close allies. So specifically, this panel is the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom, which was formed in 1998. It recommends policy, but it does not actually set policy. Mm. Um, in an annual report, the bipartisan panel said that India should join the ranks of countries of particular concern, and that would be subject to sanctions if they don't improve their records. And they designate nine countries of particular concern, which include China, Eritrea, Iran, Myanmar, North Korea, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Tajikistan, and Turkmenistan. Um, mm. In its latest report, the commission asked that all nine countries remain on the list. In addition, it sought the inclusion of four more, Nigeria, Russia, Syria, and Vietnam. And naturally, this report was rejected by many Indian authorities and dismissed as a biased report. Oh, no. Yeah, of course. Like, would, they, would we, like, imagine if the news would be, how shocked would we be, like, India coming out to say, like, oh, yeah, actually, this, this is a very accurate representation of our country. Like, oh, uh, my God, are... you're so right. My bad. <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not even if we fix it. Like, yes, we are. We don't have religious freedom here, and that's how we like it. <laughs> that, that, how that how be... does it feel for those Hindus to be considered on the same level as Pakistan? Which they uh, okay, let's not, let's be honest. There, it does, just because you're on the um, on this list, it doesn't mean you're on the same level. Okay, like Saudi Arabia and India. Come on, like I mean, yeah. it's fair. To, it's fair to be on this list. Because you're saying that these these countries have problem, but that doesn't mean they all have the same amount of problem when it comes to freedom. Okay, religious freedom. Obviously, Saudi Arabia is way worse than even Pakistan, let alone India. And obviously, Pakistan is way worse than India. And North so, Korea tops everything. North Korea tops yeah. all of them, right? By by a huge margin. India is going towards where Pakistan is. What? India is going towards where Pakistan is. I don't think, I mean, it's going towards to it, but it will never get close. I, I, it won't reach let's it. Be because fair. Guess, yeah. What? It won't reach it. I, I was saying just that it won't reach mm. it because I guess yeah. if India was like really close to that, people would re uh, just revolt against the government. Yeah, yeah. So. India will never even get close to where Pakistan is. But even moving in that direction is, is problematic. Um, Jay is saying this study is debunked as per USA. It only recognizes religious freedom if Christian missionaries are openly able to convert poor people by misleading them. Okay, to be fair though, if you, I mean, as much as I am against Christian missionaries and everything they stand for and everything they do, if they're not, if Christian missionaries are not allowed to do that, then you don't have religious freedom. I yeah. mean, Jay. Jay is trying to be like, oh, this is, they're saying they don't have religious freedom because Christian missionaries are not able to convert people. Well, yeah, that would be against religious freedom. So, yeah, I mean, based on your own standards, Jay, if that's your test, that's a good test. I mean, we, you know, we are against Christian missionaries, but we think religion, they should be allowed to promote whatever bullshit they want to promote so i don't know what you're what, you're, what in their saying. in their private spaces not in like public schools or anything i mean jay just played himself i think uh <laughs> frank is saying that's right how dare they how dare they have their freedom of religion i don't know what frank is trying to point here uh another person that i cannot pronounce their name is saying try not to teach india anything about software and religious freedom <laughs> this guy is a proud Indian, I think. Well, no, I'm going to try to do that. I mean, I don't know anything about software, but in regards to religious freedom, that's my job to do that. I mean, they, they love to point to Sundar Pichai because of, he's the CEO of Google, but 
does Sundar Pichai live in India anymore? Uh, no, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, the point of the Indians who left India. Yeah, I mean that's normal for every country. They keep highlighting their their most successful people. So I mean, most third world countries, uh, first world countries like to highlight all the horrible things they do. Um, Sanjay is saying, if you don't see the religious freedom in India, then you must be Abrahamic rooted. This is a one of their favorite accusations. Of X, this is why we have you here, Shabham, because to for all the people to give some legitimacy, people are like oh, Armin, Armin, and Susanna, they don't understand. They they looking at everything through because they're ex Abrahamic. They're looking at everything through an Abrahamic perspective. So you are a token ex Hindu here, <laughs> just so that yeah, like, we yeah we <laughs> actually have a Hindu atheist in the live comments. I guess it's yeah. just saying I'm a Hindu and an atheist. I mean, okay, and I don't want to get into the Hindu atheist debate whether that's possible or not because that's just going to open a can of worms and it's going to make this, uh, you know, because it depends on your definition of Hindu. But it could be yes or no. But most Hindu atheists, I disagree with them. But there is a way to be a Hindu atheist if by Hindu you mean culturally Hindu, but not belief Hindu. All right. So just like atheist Jews, like atheist Jews, for example. They're saying like I don't believe in anything Judaism teaches, but culturally I like their cultural, like their, their rituals. I like their rituals and all. The, you know, yeah, fine, yeah, that's fine. So I think if by atheist atheist Jew is a contradiction, if by Jew you mean belief in in Yahweh and all that nonsense, but it's not a contradiction if you just mean culturally I'm a Jew. So Hindu atheist is the same thing. Isn't isn't like what they refer to as Hindu atheist just Indian atheist then? Because in the culture is Indian, historically it has been Indian, and the first atheists in India actually well, opposed Hinduism. Well, Hindu is t technically you could use that interchangeably because Hindu is an ideology is 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 an uh, hold on, is an let me know if I'm correct. It's an uh, umbrella term for ideologies that are originated from India. So you no, could use no, this. no, okay, no, that's wrong. Okay, so I mean that's Hinduism, what my that's what I heard from a lot of Hindus. Yeah, so. yeah, they're wrong because, okay. like, the Indians who I mean, Hinduism is basically just like on in the northern part where like the Aryans came in and mixed in with the culture and stuff, and they they mixed with the previous gods that were in existence, and they made up their own gods and rituals, and it formed Hinduism. But there were many Dravidian uh, people who moved to the south. And they were not really, they wouldn't be Hindu in that cases. They were okay, actually, that, yeah. That's okay, so I, yeah. 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 Okay. Let's go to the next news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we can email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. So